earlier I spoke on uh, a qualified person and then moving into the meters portion of, a, of our subject matter, I want to make a quick statement that becoming a qualified person also means being trained on your meters properly. Uh, depending on what meter is in your hands, uh, you may have uh, a Fluke 87 or a Sperry uh, Digisnap, or you may have one of these other brands. Uh, the brand doesn't really matter as long as it's a good piece of equipment and it's well built. Uh, the topic I'd like to discuss right now is when you have a meter in your hands, I want you to make sure that you understand exactly how that meter works. Um, the last thing I'd ever want you to do is to find a setting that you're not familiar with and then test it on a live circuit. Um, certainly, you, you, it is a requirement that you're actually trained on these meters before you're able to use them in the field. And that's part of becoming a qualified person or a QEW, uh, making sure that you understand how that meter works that's in your hands uh, before you can work on a system. So I think it's uh, important to identify the meter that's in your hands, knowing all the par uh, parts of that meter and not experimenting on, on live circuits.